Welcome back to the UMMZ CT Data and Segmentation Tutorial Series. I'm Xi'an, and today we are talking about the second part of up uploading data onto Morphosource. So in the first part of the video, we talked about copying the data over, compressing it, and putting it onto CyberDuck. So now we have to generate a batch upload spreadsheet and put everything onto Morphosource. And I'll also be talking about scenarios where you have to manually link um, an iDig bio profile, which again, I'll get um, more in depth with later in the video. So in continuation from the first video, we have just finished uploading onto CyberDuck. Um, and next we have to generate the batch upload spreadsheet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to Unprocess where we have our specimen open that and I want to copy this full um, notepad folder here. Um, it's an xtext file and it contains scanning parameters and other um, metadata related to that specimen. So for this I'm going to copy by pressing Control c on my keyboard and going to metadata and pasting it by pressing Control v um, one thing to note, um, when you copy that over, make sure you are using this first notepad here. You can um, distinguish it because this one ends in 01, while this one does not have that. All right, so once all the specimen metadata has been um, copied over, we can go to Morphosaurus Batch Convert and then scroll down to User Configurations. So I'm going to right click on this and click on Edit with Notepad++. So there are a few important things to note. Um, the first one is line 15 where it's asking about the input path. So you wanna make sure this letter here, H, matches the one on the drive which you are working off of. So if I go to 8A, the drive which I just copied all the information onto, um, you can see that this also ends in H. So that is correct. Next important thing is line 48, where it asks about querying iDig bio. So iDig bio is it links the specimen that you uploaded to a page com, um, that contains a lot more information about where it was collected from, um, its identification, etc. And so you want to change this to true. There are some institutions and special cases where you will change this to false. And I will talk about that um, at the end of this video. But for now, we're going to keep it at true. Next, we need to go to the grant scanning institution. Um, in the case of the UMMZ, you always want this to be 10. Um, this number correlates to here, University of Michigan, Ann Arbor. Um, and again, because we are the ones scanning it, um, we're going to have our number there. Next is line 84, grant specimen provider. So this is the institution in which the specimen came from. So in our case, our specimen is a UMMZ specimen. Um, you can tell this by looking at the first part um, of the specimen name. It has the institution code UMMZ. So to reflect that, I have to put in the corresponding number, which in this case will again be 10. Next on line 87, um, we have to reflect the specimen provider name. So this would be University of Michigan Museum of Vertebrate.
And finally, just to double check, you want to make sure that your name is under technician on line 119. So once this is all good, click save. You can exit out of that. And now we can use another code to generate the spreadsheet. So to do this, I'm again opening the Anaconda prompt here. And we need to change it to go to the drive which we are working off of. So again, 8A corresponds to H. So I type in H colon, enter. And now we wanna make sure it works out of this Morphosaurus batch convert folder that we have. So to do that, we need to change the directory. And so we put CD space, and we can click and drag the Morphosaurus batch convert file into the space and click enter. All right, finally, we can put in the last code. So I do have it here on the sticky note here. You can also just type it in. It is python main underscore mbc.py, press enter. And it'll ask you a few questions. So the first one is asking what collection um, the specimen is from. So if we look here at our specimen, we can see that it is from the mammals collection. Um, here it is worth saying, um, you can only batch upload one institution and one collection at a time. So I can, for example, I can only upload UMMZ mammals um, once, and I can't upload it at the same time as like UMMZ fishes or any other collection. I have to do those separately. So again, in this case, it is mammals, um, and the corresponding number here is one. So press one, enter, and then enter Y, enter. And that should have completed the spreadsheet. So if we go to Morphosaurus Spatch Convert File, and scroll down, we see that Excel file here. And we just want to double check that everything um, is looking good. So as you can see, we have our specimen here. And it has included the resolutions and all that data, um, which it pulled from that metadata file or that XTECT file. All right. So if everything looks good, we can save and close it. And then what I like to do is copy it onto the desktop, which will be easier for later access. All right, now that that has been um, generated, we can then work on uploading everything onto Morphosource. So this can be done by going to the Morphosaurus website. And you'll have to log in. Um, I'm already logged in here. And you want to make sure that you're on the correct project. Um, so you may have access to a bunch of different projects as you're uploading. But again, you want to make sure that you're on the correct one. So I'm going to click on the UMMZ over project. And now we have this batch import button, which I'm going to click. Click next. Okay, and so this specimen institution, again, is where the specimen came from. So this one is from UMMZ, so Ann Arbor. And then the facility is where it was scanned. So in this, case, it is, again, University of Michigan. And there should only be one scanner allowed. 
and then I'm going to click continue. Then continue. And then here you want to choose click file and choose that um, spreadsheet that we just made. Click import batch. And now it has linked um, the specimen metadata with everything, um, you know, the compressed file, um, all the information from the spreadsheet. And then we are going to click import batch. Um, the website can be a little slow. So again, especially depending on how many specimen you have, this may take a little while. So once that has been imported, you'll get this page. Um, there's one final step to make sure that it has been successfully uploaded. So I'm gonna go back to dashboard. And click on this button that says publish unpublished media. And I'm always going to choose restricted download. And once that is done, you have successfully uploaded onto Morphosource. So now we need to take care of all this data that we uploaded. Um, so the metadata, because it was copied over, we can just delete that. Um, when we go into the upload file under the Morphosource batch convert file, um, this compressed file can also be deleted. And finally, this, um, this specimen, um, once everything is complete, it can be dragged into the archive folder. And that is where all the specimen which have been scanned and uploaded onto Morphosource are stored. So one final step is to delete that week's um, folder off of that research drive. So then again, I'm going to go back to the research. Go to that file, over it, transfer. And then once all the specimen have been uploaded, I can delete that whole week's folder off of the drive.